Alright, what up guys? It's uh, Tuesday morning. Um, 6.30 in the morning. We're going to go ahead to ABC. Um, pick up some material. Um, the guys are doing a go over today. So we are heading out. Uh, go pick up some shingles. Drip metal, tin shingles, roof to wall saddle. Nails, rolls, plastic caps, the whole nine. So they can go ahead and get started. Uh, we're leaving the Raptor at the house. Uh, my truck, it cannot carry the weight of all those shingles. It can. It will be a little too much for the truck, to be quite honest. It's not meant for heavy lifting, I would say. But uh, we're in the, the Big Bertha, the diesel. So we're going to get out of here, head to San Marcos, go get all that stuff, and then shoot to Encinitas. Truck. Dope. Since we don't have a cold start, diesel doesn't come in most start. Gosh dang, stuff doesn't shut off. So we just loaded everything in the back. Um, we're gonna take off to the job in Encinitas. I'm gonna plug in the dress, head over there. Um, the only reason I brought the ladder was specifically for the metal because I knew we were getting a big piece, that saddle. So it'll just go over, you tie it down, it's not going to move nowhere. I mean, you could have done it without it, but then your your saddle, when you drive, it's going to be like, like that, and it's, it'll be fine. It's just more of a hazard, I would say. So yeah, got it all tied down, got the three rolls, five squares, two boxes of nails, two boxes of ridge, one bundle of ten shingles. And all that good stuff. So we're gonna head to the job and see you guys over there. Got it.
¿Y no lo subo ahorita o cuándo? Una vez. So we dropped off material, they unloaded it, we unloaded it, they loaded it to the roof, some of it. Uh, you kind of saw what the little roof they were doing, two skylights, a few pipes. It's a little job, nothing, nothing too small, nothing too big we can't handle. But we're out of here, we're gonna go pick up the appointments and then get after it. We got one at like 10, 10, 30. So we're gonna go, oh shit, what I just hit. We should be chilling. All right guys, catch you in a little bit. A1 budget, baby. Let's get this cold start. Ah. Alright, what's up, everybody? Welcome. Uh, yesterday, we kind of finished off the day. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. But anyways, uh, we went took some more bundles to there in Encinitas to the little gover that they were doing that I showed you and then they were short three so took them over there I helped them finish put some shingles down and a very long time I haven't put shingles down but it felt good so I, they're gonna tear off when they put shingles I'll go out there and help lay up somewhat but yeah so today next morning it is 7 30 we're gonna head to a repair in Encinitas or sorry Carlsbad that we're gonna do um, is two skylights and a few pipes. We're gonna go ahead and get that started. Um, we're gonna go out there, check on them, get them started, uh, get the guy to sign the contract, and then as well, we got two appointments today: San Diego and Vista, a re roof and repair. They're both torch, so we gotta go look at those. I'll take you guys along with me. Uh, we'll hop up on the roof. Um, I'll kind of explain like how we measure the flat roof, what to look for, types of torch and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's get let's get after today. I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, we're just kind of letting the truck warm up a little bit before we take off. Um, but yeah, let's get after it. Check it out. We're here at the first repair. They got to do these three pipes and the skylight. So we'll go from here to about right here, all the way down this section. Tear it off. Replace the metal. 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 Good to go. Sometimes walking back to the truck, he's gonna admire the beauty of this damn thing. With the logos on it too. Sheesh, mijo. You see myself. Logos in the back. Sometimes you gotta admire your shit. Alright, check it out guys. We're here in beautiful San Diego. There's downtown SD right there. The playa is over there. And then I believe I want to say Mexico is over there. Right around there. I think that's Coronado right here. But yeah, anyways. So this is a flat roof. Um, they're getting multiple leaks now. Um, as you can tell, they painted it um, with APOC, which is a roof coating, silicone application they even did the seams on the wall but as you can tell there's nails here and here they just nailed it so it gets stuck ventilation here there there just to ventilate the walls because there is a tile roof going down that way i'll show you like that um cap sheet anyways so for something like this, you want to measure. I already measured it, but you measure around so you get the inside perimeter. So if you square it off, you wouldn't just stop here to that little corner. You would have to go up because you have to do this as well. You have to roof this and go up and over. 
So you'd go up to about right here with the torch and that would sit on top. So you know you got everything. And the same applies over there. So you add, I would say five feet there and five feet there. So it would be a total of 10 plus whatever this measurement is right here from corner there to corner here. And then you add five feet. And you, since this is like kind of like a straight line, you can corner sex square this off from here, there, and square it. Go all the way down. Remember, you gotta square it off. And you still got this wall. So now you still have to go up here. Now that wall over there is to about right here. This wall over here is to about, oh, I can't turn around. Ooh. It's to about right here. So you have to take all that into consideration. Now coming over here, see how this has a step? Boom. And then another one. So it's about the same. You want to make sure you get everything. Look at your pipes, air conditioning. Make sure you get, account for your beams under there. Pipes, skylights. These t seem to be self-flashed skylights. On top, actually on top of a skylight is what it looks like. Skylights on top of skylights. Huh. Never seen that one before. But yeah, you look at the whole roof, you kind of see which way it's slanted. Every pair was done there, scupper, drain. Repair done by scupper, drain. Your two, I'm, I'm guessing the AC exit vents, intake, outtake. There must have been some type of leaking here because they put extra coating here. This is signed of ponding right there, all, the, all this dirt, darkness here. So water must flow this way, flow this way, come down here and kind of flow this way. You can tell there's a lot of pond in here just by the color of the roof. This is a rock roof. Um, I guess it was this was a torch roof before. So they probably went over the rock because you can kind of tell it's kind of these like little bubble marks. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Just check for everything. Anything that you see a sign of, take notes, jot it down and don't forget all this has to be measured, all of it, up and over to here. So from the bottom to here, because your cap sheet has to go on it as well. Measure that. Because you don't want to measure less, always measure more. Because even if it's a foot extra, you measure that foot. Because in the end, it's going to get eaten up in your corners, your skylights, your up and over, your corners and all that stuff where you need cuts and you use all these little pieces, it's gonna get eaten up there as well. So, you gotta remember when you put your smooth on, you need camisa. So smooth goes, you pass your pipe, put your flashing piece of smooth on top of that as your camisa for each pipe. Your smooth goes up to about right here and then your torch will go above that. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. And that wraps that up. Um, so here's the final look. All right guys, on to the next. Check it out. We got a torch roof in the front of the house. Peep the truck. Anyways, we got a torch roof in front of the house. We got a scupper there. Seems to be a drain there. What it looks like. It was previous leaks here, so they went ahead, went ahead and painted it with the silicone. Like the previous roof. They got a shingle roof here. Damn, I'm out of breath. Shingle roof here with the solar. We do not do solar. But we have a guy that does solar, so we did do solar. Um, so essentially what she wants, tear off this, tear off this. Not that I saw a hole. Up and over. Tear off all this. Everything comes off down to bare wood. Come back with your synthetic. Um, your pill and stick here in the valleys, in the valles. And then come back with your shingles ridge always 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 three ply torch base smooth granulated so i'm gonna do this is pretty easy so how to measure this roof off you can so we'll start in the back you go from corner up measurement 
from the ridge down measurement right so that squares that off and you go from here right there where this line is right there up ridge over make sure that same measurement and then you go from where this meets here from here over there squares so that's this squared that covers this now for this roof you go up to the ridge this is the tricky part so you see how that goes down farther that way than this way so what you do is you go ridge up down all the way so that little piece right there the little square go past it so you measure to here measure this and what you do is you go from here right where that is up to here all the way down to about right there where that kind of cuts across so right there so then you have all this open so this squares like this it squares here squares up and it's a square then the next measurement is here up over all the way down to about right there so you just measure because it's the same you measure for this section and for this section and then you measure from there to here which would be right about this wall right here so it's right here and that'll cover this square it'll cover like this get all that because we already squared that off so you just square it to about right there and yeah and that's how you do your measurements it's pretty cut forward look at your pipes and all that good stuff so i'm actually gonna do what i just explained to you guys right now and then we'll go ahead and give her a price and much about it and then after we'll go get some lunch because it's i think it's like 12 o'clock 12 30. So yeah let's get after it and get her done oh this one to square it off square up go up to your cap sheet about right there remember you got to go up and over on the top so it's fully sealed and then from there you go from up and over like three inches up and then for here there always has to be a tie-in so your tie-in has to be 18 inches so if you go from here my foot's about 10 and a half almost 11 so it's a foot so about right here your tie-in will go to about right here right here and your torch will go here so it's all torched you nail high on this shingle, you nail up, and on the other shingles, you nail in the middle, so you have all that. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and measure this to about right here. About the tie so about the third shingle. Go up to about third shingle, and then we'll just put a piece there. And then for here, same situation, up to about right here, down, up, top of this has to go under the z bar like it is right there how they have the piece perfect that's exactly how this roof is on is how it'll be when it comes off how it flows that way and flows that way they did it the right way so we'll do essentially the same thing but with brand new torch three ply base smooth granulated so i'm gonna measure it and give her a price and on to the next right all right guys we are all done with that one hopefully i explained it well enough for you guys to understand oh we did a roof right there where is it at where is it at it's only tile roof there shit lights red damn anyways um so yeah we're finished we did it i kind of explained it gave her a price good to go um but yeah hopefully i explain it in depth to where you guys understand the measuring part of it um if you guys need me to dive deep into like a measuring video or how i measure the roof square it off or whatever just let me know drop a comment or something um if there's something specific you want me to cover about roofing about the business part of roofing and all that stuff in the process just drop a comment or anything like that i'll gladly give my opinion and my expert opinion on what I do know and if I don't know it I will tell you I do not know but for the majority of part of it I do know pretty much most of it um, so yeah um, hope you guys enjoy this video so far um, we got one more later today we're gonna go get some lunch right now uh, it is 1230 right now 1234 so we're gonna get some lunch right now and then yeah I right, guys catch you later